now we are ready to use BMI for age and the first step we're going to take is selecting the COM port. You're going to have the list of the available ports in your computer. Usually it's COM1 if your computer is connected directly to the biomeasure machine through the DV9 cable. If not, it will be one of the other ones. In this case, I know it's COM5, so I'm going to select COM5 and next. This is a very important window. I am going to try to explain it the best I can. Number one, I want to define what is the measurement file. This is a file where the children information is merged with the measurements. Okay, that's one thing. Second thing is when you're using this file for the very first time, it's just a blank file. There's nothing there. You just simply tell the software, I want the measurement file to be stored at, and you click here, and you select the folder when you want that measurement to be stored. So by default, the program names this file, BMI measurement file, in today's day. So you just say open, and then your file is already created, and it is already located in your computer. Now, if you're measuring kids, the same group of kids, for a second time, then you want to add this, this second measurements in the same file. So you say, okay, I need to locate my previous file from six months ago, and you go back. I have um, some samples here, let's see. And you say, in this file, I have already measurements from six months ago, and I want to add a second reading to this same group. So you check here. Check if file selected contains previous measurements and you want to add more to the same file. So look what happens when you do that. Here is the list of the kids that you have already measured, and now six months later, you want to do another reading to see their progress. And what happens if you did not have this measurement because this is the first time you do it? Then this is what happens, okay? The, what I did before, and I'm going to have this today date. This is a blank file, okay? But you don't have to check here. So look what happens. See, there's no kids here. You are going to import a new file with the children information, okay? So again, just one more time, the measurements file is the file where the children information is merged with their measurements. And also you can add additional measurements to the same group of kids by checking this checkbox here. I think we're good here. Just one more thing in this window. Here we see the measurements units. You can, you have the option to select kilograms and meters and pounds and feet, okay? We now can click next to import the children information and I have that file right here, children information, group one, and this is the CSV file that I have already created with all the kids. Okay, here they are. Okay, so to start the measurements, you simply double click in the student or child name, and then you are ready to go. You just click here and you go back to the next window. I'm gonna come back just to explain a few things here. This button here, Absent, it is a new feature added to BMI for Age. What this does is if, let's say, Catherine is sick today or couldn't make it today, then I am going to save Catherine as Absent because I still want Catherine um, to get the readings, but somehow I have to mark her as Absent today in today's measurement. So I'm going to click here. And are you sure you want to save Catherine as absent? Yes or no. I'm going to say yes. 
because Catherine's not here. So I'm going to keep going with Jonathan. Then once you click Jonathan and you see uh, his information here, then you can click in this um, icon here and you're going to be taken to the next window where you're going to see the measurements. And there is nothing you can do now. Just wait until Jonathan steps on the bio measure machine and you will see the readings immediately on the screen. So I'm going to pretend our, I am Jonathan, a nine years old boy. And now you see Jonathan's measurements on the screen. Height, weight, BMI, and the most important um, result here, which is the BMI for each percentile, and our little dot here that is indicating in what category health-wise is Jonathan. Okay, so now next thing is to save. We wanna save this information. Okay, now it is saved, and I have another option here to print. You can print, and I will recommend you to do this with every single child so you keep track of all the these reports. And this, this brings to um, a new topic, which is reports, and I'm going to not get off of the topic, but this is very important to do right after you do the measurements. So. I'm going to create both reports, a nurse report and a parent report. So I'm gonna click here, parent, and then I am going to select in what format do I want it, because I can print it right to the printer or I can create an Adobe PDF file, which is what I will suggest. So you keep a record of every child's report. So I'm gonna select Adobe and then select the printer icon right there. So here i did have some uh, previous readings for this kid so i'm just going to actually this is my nurse report folder but i want to go to my parents report group one and um i had some measurements for some other kids here already but i am going to name the one for jonathan jo so the the name here that I, I suggest to do something significant, PL for parent letter, and then, then the child name, and you have the child name right here. Right here, I'm gonna put this up a little bit. Okay, so Jonathan Smith. And I always add the year just, just to make sure I got enough information to come back um, and access this information later on. So PL, parent letter, Jonathan Smith, 2012, save. Okay, so I got my parent letter and you will see how it looks like in a minute. Okay, here is my parent report letter. And what this has is all the information for this child, the measurements, and a graph here where it indicates in what level um, health-wise Jonathan is. And then obviously the parents may not know what this means, so what it is being explained here in the bottom of this file, I wanna scroll down here, BMI, it, it explains what BMI is and BMI for age, and what they should do or what they should be aware of. Okay, so we're done with the parent report. We're gonna go, go back here and select nurse report. This is taking a little long because I'm explaining, but you can do this very fast. So Adobe PDF, and then go to the nurse report. You go back here, and I already created some other reports for other kids here but I need to do Jonathan. So I'm gonna use the same format for a name. So NR, which stands for nurse report, and then the child name, in this case is Jonathan Smith, and again, the year, 2012. Save, and then now we got here our growth chart, and it is blue because Jonathan is a boy, and 
that information, the reading, the results are plot in this graph. If this was the second reading for Jonathan, then I will have a dot here, a line connected to the other dot where he is currently. But this is the first reading, so I got only one dot. And I got all the information for Jonathan here. Okay, so this is already saved. And I'm gonna go back here. And I am done with Jonathan, now I can just click back and it takes me to, back to the list where I can select the next child, okay? Actually, I wanna do a girl so you see how the, the grocery looks like. Okay, now I am ready to do uh, Lindsay Contreras. And um, if you see this reading here that is already done, it's because it's just reading the, the previous results. So don't worry about this. When uh, Lindsay step on the scale, is just going to overwrite this information here. So I'm gonna get Lindsay readings. Okay. So I am ready to create Lindsay's report and I'm gonna do this very fast so you see that you can do this very fast. I already save it when I click in the desk here. So I'm gonna do print, parent letter, Adobe PDF, yes. And then um, just select here. Actually, this is the nurse report. I don't wanna do that. I wanna go to my parents report, group one. Just click here just to get the format and then I am going to just change the name for Lindsay. Lynn Contreras. Okay, save. And I got my report here already. I'm just gonna close it because I already explained that and I'm gonna do my nurse, nurse report. And then um, make sure you put it in the correct folder. Nurse and then here, Lindsay. And it is done. Here it is. And like I said, it's going to be pink because Lindsay is a girl. Okay, going back to this window, um, just a couple of things. First, you see that when I have completed a reading for a, in a specific child, it, um, it puts a line through indicating that that child is already measured. Another thing is add new feature. This is when you want to add manually a new child. And you can enter here the ID, first name, name, and last name. Day of birth, and then gender. And then you have entered manually a new child and you're ready to measure. Okay, I'm here now. Um, I'm going to try to create a error that may happen during measurements. And that is if you need to calibrate the height, if the machine starts reading the same height over and over, then BMI for H will tell you you have to verify that the calibration on the scale is correct. So I'm going to try to um, create that issue. I'm just gonna put a high meter here so it will give me the same readings um, over and over. So this is the error that it will give you if the reading has been repeated every time and if it hits five times, then it will give you this warning. Repeating height measurement, please use one height meter gauge to verify calibration and then um, once you have calibrated, make sure it's working properly, then you can keep going with uh, the measurements. There is another error that BMI for H will detect, and that is if um, the machine is not, the computer, excuse me, the computer is not receiving the information from the machine correctly, it's gonna show zero, 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 so it's gonna pop up a window with a warning, please, repeat the measurement and I'm gonna see if um, I can get that error here to show it to you. Okay, so we saw 
the computer did not receive the information correctly. It is rare when this happens, but it might happen, so we wanted to include it here for your information.